everyone. Joe and I are down here in our lovely basement today because we need to do another oddball video. Our washing machine has decided to take a dump, but Joe thinks he can repair it. So anytime we can possibly save a buck and not have to spend $2,000 on a new set of washer and dryer, I'm all down. So anyhow, if you are new to this channel, please hit that like and subscribe and ring bell notification so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest. So what's been going on with our washer? It is a Whirlpool washer. We've had it for quite a few years and I like to be a little bit tight-fisted. I'd rather spend money on Universal Studios and Disney World than to buy another washer and dryer, especially if it can be repaired. And right now, with times being as tight as they are for everyone, we knew that this would probably be really helpful for everyone. But what's been going on, this has been happening for a few months now, but every once in a while it'll just lock up and lock our clothes in the washer, which is what's happened right now. Our clothes are in the washer right now. But it will lock up, and usually if you unplug it and then let it sit for a little bit and then plug it back in, it will eventually kick back in and just run the load, and then it'll be fine for a month or two, and then all of a sudden it locks back up again. Well, this time it is locked up for good, I think. And Joe bought a motherboard quite a while back, and he was going to put it in, but every time it locked up, then we could get it started again. So we've just put it off, and now it's necessary. So today he's going to go ahead and change out the motherboard. We're going to cross our fingers and hope for the best, because I really do not want to replace it. And because of the fact it's so old, if I replace one, I have to replace both because I really don't want janky looking mix and match washer and dryer in my laundry room. I, it's down in the basement. Nobody sees it, but it matters to me. So if we can repair this, I'm all for it. So I'm going to go ahead and let Joe explain this. So a while back, I uh, shopped at an eBay store called Affordable Appliance Parts. And so <laughs> I've got those parts here. It's the motherboard. And I'm going to try to take the top off of this washing machine, pull that set of controls out, unplug everything, plug it back in, and hope to heck that it works. Yeah, I hope so. So what we're uh, changing out is this control board. It comes with a one-year warranty on it when you purchase it from Affordable Appliance Parts, their eBay store. So we're going to try to do that now. When we open up the top, you won't see this particular part yet because it's inside a plastic cage. So we have to disconnect that plastic cage, take it all out, take all these dis uh, disconnects off these various electrical contacts. Oh my gosh. And then put it back together. So when I take that apart, I'm going to go ahead and take a picture or two with my cell phone just to make sure I get electrical connectors back in the correct order. Genius. So to take the top of this off to access that control board, I've just got a little quarter inch drive ratchet wrench with a little short stubby extension. My uh, hex uh, machine nuts happen to be 5 16 inch, so that's what I put on there. So there's one screw here, one screw there, and one screw over here. I'm going to take all three off, slide this cover back, and then we should have access to that control board. One important thing is, make sure you're unplugged. <laughs> all right. Joe has made Zerg a little Zerg chair for when we're down here doing laundry. He likes to come down and talk to us. Hey, baby! All right, so the next thing we're going to do is just put your fingers on top of this so you can get a little bit of a grip and just slide it. And now you should be able to lift up and take the top off. Nice. So the board we're looking for is inside of this uh, plastic retainer. As you can see, we've got a whole bunch of clips for wires and that kind of thing. We're going to try to slide this whole thing out and remove and replace the board inside of this plastic retainer. All right, so if anybody saw the fog light video about how to change it on your Kia, similar kind of connectors here. You've got a little kind of spring clip action. You push down on that, pull out on the terminal. Push down on the clips, Pull out on the terminal. Make sure you take pictures before you start. Absolutely. <laughs> spring and out. This one is just pull. There's no spring retainer. This one is just a pull. This one. I'm not sure yet. Oh, we got little clips over the top, it looks like. So this comes up. I'm going to grab it with a pair of needle nose pliers and try to pull as I lift up. Hmm, very interesting. 
Okay, so probably just broke that little clip right there, but that's why it goes if you want to get it out. Nice. There's no other way to do it. <laughs> Maybe not be good. Guess Larry, we'll find out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that one's out. Some of the new ones, they don't go to this kind of extent on the new housings. So I'm thinking it's probably not a big deal. All right, so he's taking those three little pins and kind of opening them up a little bit so that he can pull that motherboard out with the, with the entire case. Now he needs to take apart those little retainer clips. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. That is holding the box together. The box is completely off of there now. It did take a little bit of work. It probably took the two of us maybe four or five minutes. Yeah, that's a good estimate. In order to use like a screwdriver and a putty knife kind of thing to pry that off. But anyhow, now the motherboard is exposed. So there's several retaining clips that went around this and he had to use a screwdriver and a putty knife to kind of pry it a little bit in order to get that motherboard to pop out of there. So I'm going to go ahead and try to take that out the rest of the way. Yay! Yay! Success! Yay! So we got it out. All right, so we got the other one out. Now we're going to attempt to put this one back in. We've got retainer locations there and there and there that we got to make this whole assembly pop in place. So we're going to kind of try to get these terminals and connector points into the plastic housing first. And then we're try going to try to do kind of equal pressure all the way around. And so it clips in just like that. And you just saw how easy it clipped back in. Nice. Way easier than it came out. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So now we just revor reverse course and put everything back together, correct? That's correct. So we're going to put the cover back on the top. That's good news. So we got the top cover back on. So. There, there's the last one clipped. Yeah. Yeah, so now we're going to use this to align it, snap it back in place. All right. And start reconnecting connectors. All right. And cross our fingers. Mm-hmm because I really don't want to spend that kind of money no, on exactly. washer and dryer. Electro Reparo. So he's just plugged the washer back in and we're going to cross our fingers and hope like anything it's going to work. That part's good. Doesn't sound like it. I think it did. Hold on a second. Things are working. Yay! So now he's going to reverse course and put the lid back on and it just snaps back on and then the three bolts that's on the back of it. But hallelujah, we have a washing machine and it didn't cost $2,000. How much was that control board? I'm going to say it was about $65. I think that sounds about right. $65, give or take. He said it was refurbished. I kept calling it a motherboard. He called it a control board. I don't know. All I care is that my washing machine is working and it didn't cost me $2,000 to replace an entire set of washer and dryer. Yay! Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. And probably, everything considered, we probably did this in about an hour as amateur mechanics. Not too bad. Not too bad. If you are new to this channel, please hit that like and subscribe and ring bell notification so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest. Also, please don't forget to check out some of our other great videos we have on the parks, the rides, resorts, resort rooms, Skyline Rides, day trips, car shows, outdoor pizza oven videos, Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, and Disney World. Thank you so much for watching.